Hello, I'm Ashley from Through the Loop Yarn Craft, and today we are going to make the holiday wine bottle hat. The holiday wine bottle hat is perfect uh, for a festive addition to wine gifts for the holidays, or as I like to do last year, I topped them on a bunch of different wine bottles and used them for my holiday tablescape, and it looked really cute. These work up super quick and easy using number six super bulky weight yarn. Optionally, you can also use the fuzzy yarn like Bernat Pipsqueak for on the bottom of the hat or the pom-pom. The pom-poms are optional if you'd like it without the pom-pom, sort of like an elf style hat, that works as well. We'll also need a nine millimeter crochet hook and I'll be using my cafe swirls from Furl's Crochet today. And if you're going to do the pom-pom, a pom-pom maker comes in handy if you have one. Otherwise, I know there are a bunch of ways that you can get that pom-pom look as well. This is an easy pattern. It is worked in the round and using just your basic stitches. We will be using today for this tutorial the magic circle, and so we'll go through that as well. This one's super fun with the different variations of switching colors and having stripes or just the solid colors if you like. And don't forget while you're here, hit that like and subscribe button so you'll always be notified when I have new videos and tutorials out and lets me know that you're enjoying the channel. This pattern can also be found as a free written version over on my blog, which is linked below, as well as the premium PDF version which I also included photo tutorials if you prefer that. So let's gather our supplies and make the holiday wine bottle hat. Okay, so we are going to begin at the point of the hat at the top and work our way down to the bottom. And so we're going to start with our magic circle and I will go through how I do mine. I like to leave a nice long tail wrap it around my fingers and cross over and I have kind of that X there then I just put the hook under grab that there and pull up so I have a loop and then take this here and chain one and that is how I do my magic circle. If you prefer to chain two or three and connect the chain and do round one inside that, that way works as well also. So for round one, we're going to start with six single crochets into the magic circle. And six. And then take your tail and pull that circle closed. And then we will join our magic circle. Now, if you're going to do the stripe version, this is when you would want to switch your colors and then you just switch colors every row or every other row. So now we will begin round two. So for round two, we will begin with a chain one and we will single crochet in the first stitch and increase in the next and we'll repeat that all the way around. So one stitch in the first, so one single crochet in the first stitch. And then we were going to do two single crochets in the next. And 
and then we will just repeat that all the way around for a total of nine stitches. So one and two. And there's nine. And then we will slip stitch to the first stitch. And chain one. And as you can see, it kind of wants to cup inward like that, but we want this to be the outside. So just pull that tight and flip it that way. So we've chained one and we're ready to begin round three, which is just one single crochet in each stitch around. And nine and slip stitch chain one now row four we're going to begin with a single crochet in the first two stitches and then an increase in the next and repeat that all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets so one in the first, one in the next, and then our increase for two in that third stitch, and repeat that across. And 11 and 12. And then slip stitch and chain one. So for row five, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around again for a total of 12. And there we go. And then slip stitch to join and chain one. And as you can probably tell, um, now that it's a little bit wider, the stitches are a little bit easier uh, to work around with. So now we're ready for round six. So we're going to single crochet in the first three stitches 
and then do our increase in the fourth and repeating that all the way across. So one, two, three, and our increase. So repeat that all the way across for a total of 15 stitches. and slip stitch to join and we're ready for the next round so for rounds seven eight and nine we're going to just do the 15 single crochet in each round and that will give us some of the length to our hat now if you'd like to make it longer um, this is where you can add some additional rounds but for today, I'm just going to do three more rounds. So get three more rounds going and I will meet you right back here. Okay, so I have my nine rounds here and we are ready for round 10. Round 10 is also going to be an increased round and we're going to do a single crochet in the first four stitches and then an increase and we'll repeat that around. So four single crochets and then an increase and for round 10, we want a total of 18 stitches. Two, three, four, and an increase. So one and two. So now we'll just repeat. and 18. And we're ready for round 11. Round 11 and 12, we're just single crocheting in each of the stitches around, both rounds for a total of 18 stitches. Here, you can also add some more length if you'd like after round 12 if you decided that it wasn't quite the length you're looking for if you didn't add extras before you can add some now and that will also work so get your round 11 and 12 in and i'll meet you right back here So I've finished round 12 and we are going to work on the final round. Now I have this written for two variations, one with the same yarn, uh, perhaps in a different color, as well as I've used the pipsqueak for that more fuzzy color. 
So first, I will go through with the same yarn, and then we will go through with the fuzzy yarn if you're using that. So I'm going to switch colors for this last round. So what I'm going to do is just get some white ready. You can use your preferred method for your color switching. I'm just going to cut my yarn here. And I'm just going to put the tails inside there and join. I'm going to do my slip stitch to close this last round with the new color. However, you can, if you're going to switch colors, you can go with whichever method you like. So I'll chain one and then just give those a snug tug. So for the final round, we're going to switch over to a half double crochet and just half double crochet in each stitcher. So I've got my 18 and I will do my slip stitch. And we can tie off. So that is how you will get the same yarn on the bottom. Nice little finishing touch there. So I'm going to pull that out and I will then show you how to do it with the fuzzier type yarn for more of that Santa look. Okay, so I've got the pipsqueak yarn here and I'm going to use this for that fuzzy. So I'll just join it the same way. that tight and tuck those in. So for the fuzzy yarn, I like to give it a little bit of a flare on the bottom, uh, sort of like that puffiness of the Santa hats. So for this one, I've done two half double crochets in each stitch around for a total of 36 stitches. And it just kind of gives that a little extra poof. So we will do two in each stitch. However, if you want to only do one, that is fine as well. Now, when you're working with this yarn, you really have to feel what you're doing and be sure to not make your stitches really tight because it is harder to pull through then. So just continue two in each stitch around and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so I finished my 36 and then I'm just going to feel for that loop there. It is hard to see, so you really wanna rely on touch for this one and slip stitch that and loop and then we can tie it off. Perfect, now those are all ends are ready to weave in. Now see that extra stitches just kind of gives that that little fluff and flare that's more like the Santa hat. So now you can 
make your pom-pom with a pom-pom maker and you can use the pipsqueak yarn like this one or just use the regular yarn or you can just leave the hat as is for more of that elf look. So there you have it, the cute little holiday wine bottle hats, perfect for gifts and of course for your holiday decorations. Thank you so much for joining me today to make the holiday wine bottle hat. I hope you love these as much as I do. They're such a great addition during the holidays. If you liked this video, I would love for you to hit that subscribe and like button to let me know. And you can always find me over in my Facebook group or in Instagram. And don't forget to tag me in any of your makes so I can admire your work. Again, thank you for being here. I appreciate you so, so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.